Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will cover different concepts of the chapter decimal. If you want, you can go and check the previous video of the chapter decimals where I have explained the introductory concepts of the chapter decimal. So let's get started. So in today's video, we will first cover the place value system of decimals. Okay. In the chapter number system, you have already learned about the number system, okay? According to the Indian place value system as well as the international place value system. If you want, you can go and check the previous videos of number system. Now, today we will learn the place value system of a decimal number, okay? If, let's say 5748.396, 5748.396, okay? Here is the example. This is a decimal, decimal point is present between the whole number and the, and the fractional part. Okay. This is the whole number on the left hand side of the decimal point. There will be the whole number. Okay. And on the right hand side of the decimal point, that is the fractional part. So here is the example of a decimal number. Now you have to understand that what would be the place value of this decimal number. Okay. So 5748 is present before the decimal point. So this is a whole part. Now, now for the whole number, we will follow the Indian place value system. Whatever you have learned in the chapter number system, we will follow the Indian place value system for the whole number. Okay. Specify the place value of each and every digit of the whole number. What you have to do? You have to just write down ones, tens, hundred, thousands, just like the number system that we have already learned. Okay. Place value system, Indian place value system. So as per the Indian place value system, what would be the place value of the whole number 5748 that is ones, tens, hundred and thousand. So just you have to put the values of the whole number under each and every place value. Okay. So we will start from the right hand side. Okay. Now write down the place values ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Okay. So you will write zero for ones. You will write capital T for tens, capital H for hundreds and TH for thousands. Okay. Now we have to write down the number. Okay. Under each and every place value. Okay. We will start from the right hand side. So under ones column is the number eight, then tens four, then hundred seven, then thousand five. Okay. This is how we can write down the whole number according to the place value system, Indian place value system. Okay. Under 1000, that is 5. Under 100, that is 7. Under 10, that is 4. Under 1s, that is 8. So after the whole number, what is there? There is a decimal point. So just write down decimal point. Okay. Now after the decimal point, what is there? The fractional part. This is the fractional part, not the whole part. Okay. So for the fractional part, after the decimal point, what would be the place values of the fractional part? First is tens. Okay. After the decimal point, we will write tens. Look at the spelling carefully. T E N T H S. Okay. Tens. For that, you will use small t. Tens means 1 by 10. Fractional part. So, obviously, fraction would be there. So, tens means 1 by 10. After tens, what is the place value? Hundreds. Hundreds. Okay. H, small letter H, will be denoted as the hundreds. And the fractional part would be 1 by 100. After hundreds, there is thousands, okay? TH, small letter T, small letter H will be denoted as thousands, okay? Now, now what is the fractional part? That is 1 by 1000, okay? So, if there is any whole number in the decimal number, you will follow the Indian place value system for the whole number, okay? Then the decimal point comes. Is after the decimal point, first comes tens, that is 1 by 10. Then hundreds, that is 1 by 100 and then thousands that is one by thousands so now just put the values of the fractional part under each and every column each and every place value first this is tens so we will put three under tens column then nine that nine we will write under hundreds column and then six six will write under thousands column okay now three at tens place three at tens place means this is one by ten we know ten means one by ten fractional part so, 3 at 10th place means 3 into 1 by 10. Okay. So, 3 into 1, 3 by 10. So, the decimal fraction is 3 by 10. In the previous video of the chapter decimal, I have explained the decimal fraction 
decimal number how to convert the decimal fraction into decimal number if you want you can go and check the previous video so this is decimal fraction why this is decimal fraction because denominator is 10 if the denominator is 10 or the multiples of 10 that is 100,000 then the fraction would be called as the decimal fraction so here the denominator is 10 so this fraction is called decimal fraction okay now how we are getting it 3 is a tenths place so 3 into 1 by 10 that is 3 by 10 now you can write 3 by 10 that means the decimal fraction into the decimal number form okay decimal number means like this where the decimal point is present so how we will write the decimal number from the decimal fraction here you can see that there is no whole number present no whole number present only the fractional part so if there is no whole number present we will write 0 for that okay then for 1 denominator 10 is there instead of 1 we will use decimal point okay and after 1 how many zeros are there only one zero so after the decimal point you can write only one digit one zero is there after one and instead of one you are giving decimal point so after decimal point you can only write one number now look at the numerator how many numbers are there in the numerator only one so so this is matching after one there is only one zero so after decimal point you have to write only one number and numerator is only one digit so it is matching so you will write only 3 3 for that so 3 by 10 this is the decimal fraction and instead of this decimal fraction you can write the 0 0.3 okay so this is how you can convert the decimal fraction into decimal number now next next place that is hundreds so 9 at hundreds place that means 100 means 1 by 100 fractional part so 9 at hundreds place means 9 into 1 by 100 so 9 into 1 9 by 100 okay now just convert the decimal fraction into the decimal number is there in the denominator 100 is there in the denominator and 100 is the multiple of 10 as I have said that if the denominator is either 10 or the multiples of 10 then the fraction will be called as the decimal fraction so in the denominator of this decimal fraction there is 100 100 means the multiple of 10 so that means this fraction is a decimal fraction now you have to convert the decimal fraction into decimal number form so here no whole number is present okay no whole number is present so you will write 0 for that no whole number is present so you will write 0 for that now what is there in the denominator 100 so instead of 1 you will use decimal point so give decimal point now so after 1 how many zeros are there 2 zeros are there that means after the decimal point you can write two digits okay now what is there in the numerator there is nine only one digit so another digit is missing that you have to fill up to make it two the values of zeros same so for that what you have to do you have to just give one zero one zero before nine not after nine you have to give one zero which is missing before 9 not after okay so the decimal number would be 0 0.09 okay now the numbers the place values are matching after one two zeros after decimal point two digits okay these are matching now next thousands place six is there so six at thousands place thousands place means one by thousand fractional part so six at thousands place means six into one by thousand so six into one six by thousand okay now this is also a decimal fraction why because in the denominator thousand is present and thousand is multiple of 10 so that's why this is also a decimal fraction now you have to convert the decimal fraction into the decimal form okay so here also no whole number is there so for that you have to put zero now what is there in the denominator thousand so instead of one you will use decimal point okay what is there in the denominator thousand is there so instead of one you will use decimal point so how many zeros how many zeros are there after one three zeros are there so after the decimal point how many digits how many numbers you can write three numbers okay so what is there in the numerator only one number that is six so after one three zeros are there three zeros are there so after the decimal point you have to write at least three numbers okay but numerator is only one one digit so for that you have to give two zeros okay whatever is missing you have to put zeros for that okay 
here three zeros are there that means three digits should be there after the decimal point but numerator is only one so before the numerator you have to give two zeros to make it three okay so zero zero six now it is matching you can see that after one three zeros are there after decimal point three numbers are there okay so now it is ma matching so the decimal form would be zero point zero zero six so this is the place value system of decimal number okay so for the whole number that is present before the decimal point will follow indian place value system okay and you have to put the number under each and every place value after the whole number there will be the decimal point and after the decimal point the fractional part would be there and first there is tens that is 1 by 10 then hundreds that is 1 by 100 and thousands that is 1 by thousands okay and decimal fraction is the fraction whose denominator is either 10 or the multiples of 10 okay and whenever you are converting the decimal fraction into the decimal form what you have to do you have to just write down zero for the whole number if any whole number is present then you have to write the whole number as it is okay but if there is no whole number then you have to write down zero for that and you have to see that what is there in the denominator so decimal fraction so either 10 or the multiples of 10 would be present in the denominator so instead of one you will use decimal point and you have to see that how many zeros are there after one to see okay so if there is one zero after one that means after decimal point you have to write only one digit if two zeros are there you have to write two digits after decimal point if three zeros are there that means you have to write three numbers after the decimal point so this is how you can arrange the decimal number according to the place value system okay now we will learn the expanded form of any decimal number so the same example i am taking 5748.396 okay so you have to write down these decimal number in expanded form okay so this is 5000 so just write down 5000s then this is 700 okay we have already we have already written all the place values of this whole part okay this is 5000 so just write down 5000 this is 700 write down 700 then 4 tens so plus 4 tens then 8 ones plus 8 ones now plus now this is 3 tens 3 tens so you will just write plus 3 tens expanded form you have to write down so you have to give plus sign okay after each and every place value you have to give plus sign then 9 hundreds so just write down 9 hundreds plus 6 thousands so just write down 6 thousands okay now 5000 means 5 into 1000 5 thousands means 5 into 1000 so 5000 plus 700 means 7 into 100 that is 700 plus 4 tens means 40 4 into 10 that is 40 plus 8 ones means 8 into 1 that is 8 plus 3 tens already we have found out 3 tens that is 0.3 so just write down 0.3 then then 900 comes so what you have found out 0.09 so just write down 0 0.09 plus 6 thousands so you have found out already 0.006 write down so you have already learned that how to convert the decimal fraction into into the decimal number okay so whatever you have got the decimal number that you have to put okay so here we have learned that how to write any decimal number in expanded form so later on we will do the exercise part of the decimal chapter in the coming videos so this is how you can write any decimal number in expanded form okay just you have to break each and every place value and you have to give plus sign after the each place value okay So that's it for today. In the next video also we will cover some other concepts of the chapter decimal. So see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and thank you for watching.